Hi, welcome to Classic Car Co. So, um, in this video I'm going to go on to doing the uh, cylinder head off the Mini. Now, since I took the head off and measured the bores, um, we found out that consequently it's a 1275. It's not the original 1100 that was in it, um, which, is, which is no problem really. Um, the car's already been converted to, or made into a convertible, so any uh, value it add as a 1100 special is kind of gone anyway, so um, which doesn't make any difference. I mean, these cars now are not going for big kind of money anyway. So um, yeah, so as I said, we're going to get on with the the cylinder head. Um, I have taken the valve springs off already, which you'll see in the video, um, and I took the valves out just to check them to make sure there's no burns on on the edges of any of the exhaust valves. Or there's no chips in the head or in the in the seat itself, and they all look pretty good. So I don't think there's going to be any problems and just lap it in. But obviously the dirty job now is once I, once I take all the valves out, I've got to clean up those uh, ports. Uh, sorry, the the combustion chambers, um, and then flatten the head down. And I'll, I'll obviously check that the head is flat, um, and hopefully that doesn't doesn't need any machining. I don't think it will. So this video is on the on the cylinder head for the Mini. Uh, I went onto a website because after I got this pump from Jeremy, uh, I wanted to, I went onto a website just to see what kind of cost they are and metal ones are very quite expensive. Anyway, you'll see it on the video, and they do globes and all kinds of stuff. But I think they're quite expensive. Well, a friend of mine, Martin Martin Reed from Blackpool, he sent me a WhatsApp, and this is the site. It's called Vintage Gas Pumps. They're manufactured in the UK. Um, and you can see, uh, and they're made from steel apparently, uh, so it says here, but you can have it as different functions, you can have it as fridge, display cabinet, charger, whatever, uh, but as you can see, uh, the prices there of those different pumps range up to, well, uh, 3,100, probably, probably a little bit more by the time you paid the, but you can have them as fridges and so on, I suppose they light up and everything else, but they are made of steel. And to be honest, um, a an old one, an original one, would probably cost you that kind of money anyway, but wouldn't have the functions like a fridge or, or whatever. So, you know, just thought I'd put this up. Uh, there's even an airline thing there. But what is interesting as well is they've got another site here uh, which shows um, globes. So you can actually buy the globes separately, which are not too bad. Um, yeah, and you've got everything there, Indian Motorcycle, Shell, Route 66, yeah, a Chevrolet, look, got a lot of nice ones, BP, Cadillac, uh, there must be another one, is there, another site, oh, Texaco, okay, anyway, that's the contact number there. So, as you can see, I've got the tool fitted on it, uh, I've got the two uh, collets out, you can see them there on the end of that magnet. And it's just, a, I mean, it's nice and firm, it's good, it's solid, and all I've got to do now is just release it back and take the, take the pressure off the spring. It's very basic, but effective. There we go. We'll see how this, this is the worst cylinder for compression, uh, and I believe it's the exhaust that's causing it, so there we go. So, take this off and you just keep going down as you want. Very basic, just got a little Tommy bar in it, and that's it. So, take this off. Yeah. Look at the soot, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, I'll bring it up to the camera, but the soot behind that, and you can see there's hardly any edge on it. Valve. I think it's okay. What we'll do is we'll just lap this in uh, and see exactly. But just have a quick look at the, the seat. And the seat looks good. Yeah. So it's very, very basic, uh, very basic setup on it. Um, I've taken the offending uh, exhaust valve. And a number one cylinder to just have a check. Now, normally on any engine, the inlet will be the biggest valve, 
uh, biggest diameter because the air is being sucked in by the piston going down. Um, it's not like it's supercharged or, or turbocharged where the air is being forced into the cylinder. So it's an entirely different situation. And the exhaust is smaller because obviously the gases are being pushed out with the cylinder, the flat of the piston is, the, the crown of the piston is pushing the exhaust uh, gases back out and that's the reasoning behind it for anybody who's not sure it's very basic but anyway but if you see now this obviously this head and block needs a, a decoke which is basically a carbon build up this is all carbon from it firing and you can hear when I shut the inlet it's got that kind of kind of pops sound that's because that's because if you look at the valve you can see that the, the seat is still good it's, there's no carbon build up on it and and the seat of the actual head so the angle on the valve itself is good and so is the seat but when it comes to the exhaust you can you can hear it's a bit more kind of tinny because it's not what's happening is there's not a complete contact all the way around there is because it's under tension but if that was cleaned or uh, uh, what we'll do now is, is I'll take these out put them in the drill uh, in the drill um, the stand drill and clean the bases and clean the edges and then I'll use uh, uh, rough and smooth uh, valve compound and actually uh, get these so that they're a perfect fit and you can check it then with uh, engineering blue for instance you can put it on you can see it with the paste you can see it with the grinding paste and you'll see when it's getting better and better so you use the, the, the rough stuff initially you just basically coast, uh, put it onto the side of the stem and you, what you're doing is you're grinding in the valves and I'll show you that when we do it but you can hear there's a massive difference and that's very tight that valve to come out so I hope it's not oh, it's just yeah okay I don't think there's a bend in it it's probably just build up yeah, fine. I mean you can see the difference with that uh, uh, inlet valve. Comes out very easy. Anyway, so that's the situation. And as I said, this one here is really quite bad on the seat, and and you can see how bad the valve is, the exhaust valve, and this is the one that was causing the problems. So I'll check everything out and see how we go, and give it a good decoke. So I've got this one in the drill press, this is the uh, first one that I took out, uh, this is the first exhaust file because the exhausts are always going to be worse than the inlets and you can see I'll give it a bit of a clean up. But you can see what I've also done is put it into the chuck kind of halfway down and the reason for that is if you look now you can see where that is because the collets have to sit on the top and at the bottom it has to sit on the guide just about here so you don't want to go too high up or too high on the stem because of the collets and too far down because of the valve guide itself if you if you crimp it you shouldn't in a, in a drill chuck but if you do damage it you could scar the uh, valve guide so just be a bit careful there so I'll show you what it looks like when I take when I uh, I've cleaned this one up that's uh, one done so what I've got to do with this now is and it's really important you try and get as much of this carbon off as you can because anything that's sitting on it on the edges here will start to burn again and and, and build up quicker so the cleaner it is the less it'll take more time to build up the carbon again and as I said this one here is so I've got to do this and you can see the difference between the back of them you can can you see the angle on this one now that's got a 